I wanted to show you today an idea that I have um, for an inexpensive modification to improve your guitar. It's a customization that will cost you, I don't know, maybe one euro, two euros, and it will improve greatly uh, the functionality of your guitar. It's an idea that I had to, actually I had it a long time ago, but uh, that's the first guitar that I implemented it. Um, it's actually, for sure you heard uh, about the tremolo no. It's a device that you put in the tremolo of your guitar, it kind of block it, so it won't go so much out of tune. Or, uh, you can block it, so when you detune your guitar to play in a drop D, for instance, uh, the rest of the strings won't go out of tune. Well, I have an idea. It's, uh, I don't want to put down the tremolo no, I think it's a great product, but it's actually quite pricey for what it is. It costs about 40 euros. And then I had the idea of using, instead of a tremolo in my guitars, using a, see if the camera catches it, that. That's right. That is a door lock. The one that you can find in your hardware store for one euro, one dollar, depending where you are, maybe two. But it's really inexpensive. And the idea is really easy. All you have to do is get a little one of those, adjust your guitar, adjust your tremolo, in the height that you like it, and then when you have it perfectly adjust, you just put one of those in a way that when you put it on, it will just kind of hold it in a kind of uh, zero point, pretty much like that system that the Ibanez uh, guitars have now in their tremolos. And what well, works, <laughs> I know it's ridiculous, but it works pretty good. I wanted to show you the guitar, by the way, the beautiful guitar is already sold. I'm gonna ship it tomorrow to the USA, it's just for demonstration purpose. It's actually really nice. I handmade it myself. It's a bit used, have some light scratches from the use, but it's a really, really nice guitar. Just because I made it myself. I have a uh, graph text handles. Oh, that's a great guitar. You feel how it sounds in a moment. Well, so what's the idea? The practical, practical use for that. The idea is that um, you can have it unlocked, and then you have your terminal set, so you can use the bar backwards. So you can flute it that way. So you can actually pull it backwards. I have it set up so you can go a half tone higher. But then, as you all know, you want to play in drop D, uh, drop D, for instance, you have to put down your strings. And uh, with the tremolo is floating, all the rest of the string is going to go down as well. So then, you put your uh, door lock in that mode. Now that's touching the tremolo block, and it kind of make it impossible to go back. They hold it in that zero uh, position, right? So now the intonation doesn't change. This is still. But you want to go uh, drop D. Uh, the rest of the strings didn't go out of tune. Check it out. It's a perfect tune, but it's in drop D. With the bar, you now you can use the bar down so much as you want, but it can go backwards. After you finish playing drop D, you can put it in uh, back to E, and everything's the same as before. And then you can unlock it or just leave it like that if you're gonna use the one bar backwards. works, it's inexpensive, uh, and I think it's a great idea, a great alternative. I don't want to put down the tremolo, no, but that's a cheap alternative uh, for the tremolo. No. Um, something really easy to do, you only have to screw all your screws, and it's done. You can always adjust it, you can take it off and put it backwards or forwards later on, uh, as you please. So that's it, thank you very much for viewing. If you like the video, please uh, press like, and follow me.